Good morning. This is Mission Control Houston. Thank you for joining us for today's ISS update this Wednesday, July 27th. We are now inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room where the team here has been monitoring the systems aboard the station and supporting the day's activities of the Expedition 28 crew members. Flight Director Matt Abbott is leading the team here in Mission Control with Hal Getzelman serving as CAPCOM, who is relaying all ground messages up to the crew. Matt Abbott is shown here on the right-hand side of your screen. Next to him is Hal Getzelman. The six crew members currently aboard the station include Russian cosmonaut and commander of the complex, Andrei Borisenko, and his crewmates and flight engineers, Alexander Samokutiaev, NASA astronaut Ron Guerin, Sergei Volkov, Satoshi Furukawa, and NASA astronaut Mike Fossum. Commander Borisenko, Samokutiaev, and Guerin docked to the Poisk module of the orbiting complex April 6 aboard the Soyuz TMA-21 spacecraft. They will uh, complete their 115th consecutive day in space today with about a month and a half remaining of their near six-month stay aboard the space station. Meanwhile, Volkov, Furukawa, and Fossum launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome on June 7th aboard Soyuz TMA-02M spacecraft and joined the three-man crew there on the space station after docking to the Rosviet module June 9th, making up the complete crew of Expedition 28 that is now aboard the space station. The uh, space station with its crew on board are now flying at an altitude of about 237 statute miles. headed toward an orbital sunrise. Walking the Void is this week's theme as the Expedition 28 crew members continue preparations for the upcoming spacewalk out of the pier's docking compartment next week, Wednesday, August 3rd. While the crew remains busy preparing for the spacewalk, it continues to support research into the effects of microgravity on the human body, biology, physics, and materials, as well as perform regular maintenance and upkeep to their orbital home away from home. After the crews wake up at 1 a.m. Central Time today, the expedition crew participated in the first of two daily planning conferences with ground controllers at mission control centers around the world to kick off the day reviewing the day's activities and planning for the next set of tasks. The crew will participate in another daily planning conference just before entering its pre-sleep period. The crew is scheduled to go to bed later at 4.30 p.m. Central Time. During today's ISS update hour, Japanese astronaut Satoshi Furukawa will continue collecting and quality testing the station's water supply from the water processor assembly and potable water dispenser that he began early this morning and will continue for much of the day. At the top of the hour, Garen will be wrapping up some additional cleanup tasks of the permanent multipurpose module, organizing food and items that recently were brought up by Atlantis and the STS-135 crew. Afterward, he and Sergei Volkov will retreat, retreat to the station gym for an hour-long session of their daily two-hour workout regime. Garen will exercise with the onboard cycle, while uh, Volkov works to maintain muscle strength with the advanced resistance e exercise device that simulates weightlifting here on Earth. Meanwhile, flight engineer Mike Fossum will be shutting down a science experiment called the Shear History Rheology Experiment, he had been working with earlier this morning that studies polymer fluids stretched in microgravity, which could provi provide benefits for uh, future space missions and improved manufacturing processes here on Earth. Next week's spacewalkers, Sam Kutiaev and Volkov, will continue preparing their Orlan spacesuits with a coolant leak check, battery installation to the suit's telemetry units, and configuration of the communication systems. 
Earlier this morning, flight engineer Ron Guerin collected blood and urine and also conducted a body mass measurement as part of a human science study known as SOLO, sodium loading in microgravity that studies fluid and salt retention in the body during spaceflight. And that would be that your uh, PPC would move forward to 1530, followed immediately by the PMC, if that works for you. Yeah, you betcha. Works great. Thanks. Okay, we'll uh, put that in work and give you a reminder when it's all set up. Okay, thanks. In addition to working with the shear experiment on stretched fluid polymers, Mike Fossum removed the alignment guides on the fluid integrated rack to set it up for experiment operations. Meanwhile, Sama Kutiaya performed a leak check and valve test to the Orlan interface unit of the spacesuits he and Volkov will wear during their excursion outside the complex next week. Later today, Garen will gather and record air velocity measurement readings from the Destiny Laboratory, Unity, Harmony, and Tranquility nodes, as well as the cupola, and power down the air quality system. He will also reinstall the alignment guides on the fluid integrated rack to lock down the active rack isolation system. Commander Badasenko, Samakutiaev, and Volkov will spend some time reviewing crew airlock procedures in advance of next week's spacewalk. Samakutiaev and Volkov also will perform a communications telemetry check of the Orlan suits, um, install a portable repress tank, and perform an oxygen tank pressure check prior to the six-hour excursion scheduled August 3rd. Three new crew members of Expedition 29 that will join the crew aboard the station in September will be interviewed live here on NASA TV from the Johnson Space Center. Expedition 29 Crew News Conference will air at 1 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time today, followed by live interviews with Expedition 29 NASA astronaut Dan Burbank at 3.30 p.m. Central Time, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. This is Mission Control Houston.